support your independent artists you know we always are uh highlighting independent artists and i got two of them in the building with me right now i have will g and precious how y'all doing good that's what i'm talking about appreciate y'all coming through yeah glad to be here um i wanted the people wanting to become familiar with y'all um i like networking and you know bumping into people and i bumped into y'all at uh, ambitious graphics again you know there's always places like this hub for creators but precious i had uh I listened to your song and saw your video online. But what's the name of that song again? Get Off. Get Off. Yeah. Yeah, definitely um, a dope song. I like it. Uh, I played it like quite a few times. Um, and just to, you know, the listen to the upcoming artists, like I don't like to call nobody local because mm-hmm. I feel that if you stream, download, or sell outside your city, you're not local, you're independent. So, and I think the word local gives artists who are, you know, striving to get to whatever goal that you're trying to obtain, um, devalues the craft, you know, because in my opinion, the only difference between independent artists and major artists is just the budget, that's it, because a lot of y'all have the talent that it takes to be able to push and put out there in the forefront, it's just, it's not a marketing budget that's big enough that's behind you. Um, but uh, for everybody, you know, who's listening, who's going to go back and watch this uh, video as well, give us a little background as far as, like, why y'all decided to get um, started. And I know y'all are two individuals yeah. or whatever and uh, not a group, so however y'all want to do it, just, uh, you know, give us a little background on why you got started in music. Well, first, I started off with poems. Okay. Yeah. Um, well, uh, third grade, mm-hmm. I got interested in a poem in school, and... I don't know where I heard it from, but I heard Lil Wayne made start okay. writing poems and turn into rhymes, and mm-hmm. I didn't know that. Mm-hmm. So that's how I started. But it was just on and off with me doing, just doing it, just for fun. Mm-hmm. So basically, that's just how I started off with it. And my senior year, mm-hmm. everybody was like, you know, what you gonna do? College and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So that's when I just started, just really just taking it serious, because okay. I knew I could do it. Mm-hmm. Just, I just got focused really in it then. Okay. What, you, what about you? Uh, well, been doing music for like ever since I could remember. My mm-hmm. whole family talented, like mm-hmm. on my daddy's side, every last one of them either they sing, play instruments, so mm-hmm. they do something involved with music, mm-hmm. raps, you know, all that. So they've been around it a long time. I started out producing, I still produce as well. Okay. And then the rapping, it kind of new to me, but a lot of folks sound good at it, so mm-hmm. I said, they're going to stick with it and see what I can do with it. Okay, so um, <clears throat> what is y'all's, like, you know, driving force or, you know, point of inspiration to where, you know, you want to go into the studio and lay down whatever you lay down? Like, you know, what, what really inspires you to talk about, you know, the things that you want to talk about? Because it's different. It, it's different because other people like to talk about it. They they see it where they mm-hmm. come from, so I just want to do that for making. Ain't nobody really doing it. You feel like well, as far as like representing the city, like the best of it, their ability, or like you know what what it just just how they live, how they where they come from. Yeah, they they got to represent the city. Yeah. Like if we, we got to stick together, like show people, mm-hmm. like like folks in Atlanta. Like I be up there, can I go to school at the art institute. Uh-huh. Like the whole east side of Atlanta, like them folks is sticking together, like okay. yeah. they 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 a team. Like if mm-hmm. you you've seen like some of these music videos, like you see like you see folks like that you didn't know like, but you see them in videos, and mm-hmm. now you see them making their own videos. Like they've been in the loop. Yeah. Is it, so they, everybody showing up to each yeah, other video yeah. shoots, and they all being like the cameos yeah. and stuff. And them get like that and like yeah, and they help each other. other right. But don't nobody want to support each other. They feel like they can do it on their own, you know. But what do, so what do y'all with y'all being you know the newer generation coming up? Where, where do y'all think that mindset comes from? Hmm. Uh, I ain't no talent. Like it's 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 real crazy. I, I hear like, it's hard. Trying to gain respect from your own people where you come from. Because they don't, they don't take you that serious. 
People don't want to see you make it. I get mm-hmm. they feel like if you're doing better than them, then they got to hate on you. Now, mm-hmm. why hate when you can, when yeah. we all can come yeah. together and play some role and do something, you know? Yeah. Put our money together, invest in each other, do right. something, you know? Yeah, that, hey, I do it all the time, you know, and I, I have a collective of networks of yeah. people that, you know, I do that with, so, you know, I definitely get where you're coming from. A lot of people don't be that. thinking like that, though, like... Mm-hmm. People my age, I'm only 18, I'll be 19, mm-hmm. June 7th. Okay. I'll be 19, but a lot of people don't. A be, happy early birthday. Appreciate that. <laughs> appreciate that. A lot of people don't be thinking like that, but, you know, as a young person, you got you to gotta think like that. You got to plan stuff out. You never know how stuff going to go. But as, like, you know, as y'all grow up and, you know, you start to see the world, um, do you think that it's just the lack of being introduced to that kind of stuff is probably why a lot yeah, of other young too, people? Yeah, that too, as far as what people see, because, you know, you yeah. see, they support, like, it's crazy, like, you don't want to support people doing good, but, like, you see a fight on Facebook, or you see mm-hmm. something. They really you support that. They, 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 yeah. they going crazy probably with that, like, they finna go support that, like, crazy, but you don't mm-hmm. want to support somebody who's trying to do something for themselves, and they always saying ain't nobody trying to do that, or, mm-hmm. I mean, it's a lot of people that trying to do something, they just don't have that support to go behind it. Yeah, and I think I like the fact that y'all out there, y'all chasing what y'all want to do for you know a, li- uh, a living. Because I think you know when y'all tell people, and I'm sure y'all probably encountered this, that you know, well, I'm going to rap, and you I know you also model, um, and you're going to make a living from that. That people don't see how someone can do that because they don't have any, I guess, the blueprint or the examples from other individuals doing it. Mm. And they always want to downplay, you know, going into the entertainment industry. Um, But I'm like, it's so obtainable. It's just like with anything. It's it's like you're starting a business, you know, and a brand. And you got to, you know, keep pushing and show people that that particular business and brand has a a foundation that has a value to it to where other people buy into that. but, you know, it's so easy to discount that and just to tell people, you know, go out there and get a job or whatever, you know, kids would be, go to school, which, you know, I don't, even with nowadays or whatever, with the price of education and all these other different things going on, I'm like, school doesn't guarantee you anything. Yeah. I'm like, I'm still paying back college loan debts that I took out to go to school. Um, <laughs> you know. so a lot of people though they they had degrees and don't even know what to do with it. Like might not ever get a job in their degree. Well, you know, the, statistically speaking, ninety percent of the people who graduate with the, within their major don't work in their field, um, yeah, which is a huge too. high you know statistic. But I also think there's a lot of other stuff to that. Is that most people don't get degrees in fields that they feel passionate about. Me, I went there, I got mine in business with a concentration in marketing. That's what I do. So, you know, I knew what I wanted to do, but I was a very um, aggressive individual when I was younger, and I was really focused and keyed in on what I wanted to do with my life anyway. So I would say I'm more of an anomaly compared to a lot of other people who just get pushed on to, you know, going to school. Yeah, that's how they make it. That's how they make it seem that college and the military is the only way that you can make it. Yeah, no, 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 I don't believe that. I even I tell don't. my kids that, you know, you can have, y'all can start a business. I'm like, they see me doing a lot of different stuff anyway. Um, I'm like, so, you know, when you graduate high school, you do, what you, do what you feel you love, and you can turn your passion into a profit. It's so easy to do that. Not to say that it's easy to do it, but it's, it's just easy to follow your instincts and to get it to the point to where, you know, you can monetize it. Um, it's just, you know, it's just right mentorship and guidance and stuff to be able to do that. But why discourage people, you know, from doing what they want to do? And if you feel, if y'all feel like y'all have something to offer the game, then do it. Like, yeah. the one thing I don't like to see are artists who are grinding and there's no support, you know, people supporting them, and then they give up on their dream, but they really have a talent that they sh- can share with the world. Why not? share that yeah. with the yeah. world but you also like y'all say you need you know support systems um so as far as i guess musical influences you know who, who are y'all influenced by i'm mostly influenced uh young blue okay the rest of shine people like that mm-hmm. they talk about real stuff that they've been through mm-hmm. not just yeah other stuff that they haven't did yeah so I like that. They got more feelings to their music. Yeah. Well, I like a lot of uh, hood rappers like like Gucci Man, 
Okay. Or like Bang Road, mm -hmm. a scooter, like folk like that. Cause they mm -hmm. they they rap about like where they live, but still like that. They, mm -hmm. they got a nice meaning behind it. Well, they rap about a lot a lot of crazy stuff, but I I'm part I be involved with some of that stuff so I can relate, you know. Mm -hmm. But it seems like y'all both come from a standpoint of authenticity. Yeah. You know, to be authentic with your music and not to portray something that you know you know really are because you know a lot of people out here are getting exposed. That's cool oh, yeah, too yeah, yeah. to talk about that because that's what most of the people want to hear. Mm -hmm. That's what like our generation mm -hmm. like. So it's good to give that and like be realistic at the same time. Okay. Tell you your keep story. A fair yeah. yeah. As opposed to you well, know. Before I like yeah. telling you, tell what you see, you know, I say, oh, yeah. I, I rap like stuff I see what's going on in the world. Yeah. Or, I got a home, but like he might have did, so I might put what mm -hmm. so me done did in the rap. Like I can relate to it. Like mm -hmm. oh, I done been with him, mm -hmm. even though I ain't did it, but it's, I got a story. Well, somebody I, I else might. That, yeah, yeah, I still feel like, you know, that's authentic. So yeah. I'm speaking and not only for exactly, me, but for Because it. you're coming from a yeah, perspective yeah. of experience, even if it's not your own, but you're if you're adjacent to it and you can touch it, then I feel like it's still part of you. Yeah. But if you like, you know, the kid that went to like private school and you never like been to the hood or you ain't never sold a brick or whatever yeah, the case I don't is, like you here, you know what I'm saying? I, like I hear a lot of old, upcoming artists now, like they be rapping about like talking about jury and cars. Like mm -hmm. I'm not finna put that in my raps. Like I don't have that stuff yet. Like if yeah. you don't have it, why well, talk about it? I'll talk you, about that something that I want. Yeah, so like that, if you got something yeah, you no, want, no, I, yeah, I that's what like you're trying to strive to get. you try to, to, get. to strive to get, but... Yeah, that's different. But they're saying yeah, that you got it and you don't... Exactly, spitting like, oh, yeah, I got all these yeah, cars. That, and, you know, I you can, it can be fire, but it's still just, in my head, I'm like, you ain't doing that. That's the thing. Yeah. So I wouldn't probably want to listen to it. Cause once you drop, mm -hmm. like you do a video, people gonna want to see that. Like, what that car he was talking about? He, yeah. You know, they don't want to see that. That's the first thing. I look at, like, if I hear a rapper, they... They saying what they got. That's the first thing I'm gonna look at. Like you got yeah. video, I want to see what you talking about. If you yeah, need. definitely. And, you know, I, I inquire. I'm, I'm the same way. Like I listen to, it and I like, like I, li I like listening to lyrics as well. Yeah. Like I'm really into lyrics. Like I, I love production. Don't get me wrong. And production, I think you know, you need it to move. You know what I'm saying? And you know, just set the mood or whatever, and to be able to dance to it, or whatever. But I also love lyrics and wordplay, metaphor, similes, all that I stuff. Know. Yeah, I like that. Um, a word play bit. Play you know who yeah. good doing that? Part. Um, what is it called? Montana three thousand. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like him. He got good metaphors, punchlines. I like mm -hmm. stuff like that. Cause I um, like I told you, I, I watch a lot of interviews. Mm -hmm. I watch a lot of um, battle rapping too. Mm -hmm. I like that. Yeah, the, I've interviewed a couple of artists who come from the battle rap scene, and now they're transitioning into like you know songwriting yeah. or whatever. Which you know sometimes it's kind of hard for some artists to do that because they get stuck on one thing, and they become great at it. But then when it, 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 some of the things you can apply, but it doesn't like cross over one hundred percent all the way. Nah, you know? I try to be. I try to be versatile. Not only just do hardcore rapping, but you know I mm -hmm. try to switch it up, do something for the females, or do yeah. something like for the older generation. You know, mm -hmm. cause a lot of people got different ears to music. Like yeah, they, don't they do, and then it's all subjective. It's good too. to catch everybody. Yeah, attention. I, I think it is. I think you know, if you're coming up with something that you're comfortable with, to where you can try to appeal to the most individuals possible without like you know selling yourself short, is the way to go. Um, as far as like you know reception and you know I, I know you say like you know the support is a little lackluster, but how has it been you know not with peers or whatever because peers look at you differently they can be biased. Do y'all have individuals that like don't know you that catch on to you or might catch whiff of you and you know what's the response that people have been saying thus far? Yeah, like when I had well first I had, when I had did that song Get mm -hmm. Off I didn't even post the song I just post like clips of it, mm -hmm. like me singing it or something like that. Mm -hmm. And like I didn't even know that many people in my school watched it. Mm -hmm. And I just started getting different types of people that I didn't know mm -hmm. knew about it. Then when I had did the video, I didn't even tell anybody about the video. I just put a little clip of it on Instagram. Mm -hmm. At school, people just like, oh, I see your video, I see your video. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, I didn't even know that many people like so you, went you and surprised. watched it for yeah. real. But yeah. It's good though that you know you have yeah. to make an impact. So I have people you know been receptive to. I'm a 
I talk to a lot of people anyway, so like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I be, you know, I just being full of faith. So like, if I do anything, like they, they go, they know what's going on. So they, mm -hmm. a lot of people, they be watching me move, really. So okay. I, I, I talk to it, like a lot of people. I try to stay at, you know, or like mm -hmm. you saying, network. You never yeah. know who you might know. Yeah, yeah. You know, I, you actually, I, across, I, you know? when I was downtown yesterday. I booked for first ride. I booked into a dude that was uh, he was out there at that little uh, pavilion thing or whatever, and he was out there rapping or whatever. So I went up there, gave him a card, and then he came back into the shop, and he uh, dude that does the graphics, and I guess he's part of the group as well, or whatever. So I told him, you know, when I come back from my trip, you know, to hit me up, and you know, we'll. Um, you know, link up and stuff like that. So, like you said, networking, you never know who you run into. But um, as far as, like, you know, putting yourselves out there and y'all independent, you know, and you're really cultivating something and building, like, this movement and this business, this brand, how have y'all liked that process thus far? You know, because you have to do a lot of work in order to really get to that point to where, you know, people just going to throw opportunities your way. I, oh, I get a lot of I, I get a lot of good feedback. A lot of good feedback. You know, it might be one or two that tell me, you know, mm -hmm. they don't. But that's good, too. Our good publicity is good publicity. So, mm -hmm. you know, if you like it or not, you still clicked on it and listened to it, you yeah. know. Like, so that, yeah, I get, I get a lot of good feedback. Yeah, I don't, <laughs> with me, mm -hmm. I just might put it out there. I just might just not come to you and tell you, oh, this one I'm doing, I want you to listen to this. Mm -hmm. Because, like I was saying, like, support system, like, mm -hmm. And down here, mm -hmm. it's just like, they, especially people like know you like go to school with you, they're gonna mm -hmm. be not take it much as serious. Mm -hmm. Probably just think you just doing something. Mm -hmm. So, that's thinking yeah. like it's more like a hobby yeah. or whatever. Yeah, they might just, oh, she just doing that. She ain't gonna stick with it, you know. Mm -hmm. Especially like people down here, they don't really take you that serious. Right, well, you know, you have to expand your crowd or, you know, bump it. You start, you know, leave the, the people that, you know, saw you or interacted with you, you know, in school and stuff like that, you know, you have to basically, like, leave them alone and push them to the yeah. side because they're a little biased because they see you, you know what I'm saying? They know you or even know of you. Yeah. People who don't, who are, like, in the industry or, you know, just affiliated or connected somehow, you know, they'll look at you differently or whatever, you know, how you present yourself. And those are the type of people that you should really, like, you know, start surrounding yourself yeah. with and networking events and, you know, just going all over the city, other cities, things like that, to yeah. where, you know, it'll really broaden your brand and expose your opportunities and more people you run into. Because um, I, I know the, what is it, the, uh, I don't know if y'all know them. Like, I, I have a lot of independent artists who I mess with now, who are, you know, older or whatever, and been doing this for a while, like, you know, 5, 10, 15 years mm -hmm. or whatever. And we're all like a collective and support one another with different events and stuff. Um, so like one of them is like the uh, Music Junkies. And it's a group of individuals, and not all, my, not all of them are artists, but all of them are they're music fanatics, mm -hmm. you know. And on the fourth, Friday, was it the fourth Friday, I believe, they um, host showcases at uh, Grass Lounge. Mm -hmm. um, so I went to the, that one that they did this past, um, Fourth Friday, and they had like a lot of singers and stuff, and then but they had a couple of rappers too. Uh, a guy that uh, I had bumped it to named uh, Jelani, based out of uh, Decatur or something like that. Got a dope project. Um, he came through. He came all the way down, supported. Um, had some other artists. So I think when y'all start, you know, really surrounding yourselves with those other type of individuals and just bumping them to them and stuff and rubbing elbows with them, you know, you'll find that support system that you're looking for. A lot of times too, um, like. Even if don't nobody listen to my music, like mm -hmm. I support myself hard. Like it, it was a period of time, like I go to the school, like they got a whole bunch of um, computers and stuff in the mm -hmm. building. I just go to every computer and just start searching my music. Like a mm -hmm. lot of my views actually come from me, like just mm -hmm. me going hard every day, just searching. Like I mm -hmm. go to the school teacher, be like let me see your phone real quick. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I might tell her to call my mom. I read mm -hmm. them on YouTube, searching my music. You mm -hmm. know. Like everything, so that IP really, really stuff, did, so, yeah. thinking outside the box, like, yeah. what can I do, you know what I'm saying? It, like, to raise a profile yeah, and, yeah. you know, an exposure and stuff. So the things like that, I think, are definitely, you know, great to do and, you know, this innovation way of thinking. Um, so as far as, like, what y'all got planned, you know, and then I also want to get into uh, the modeling aspect of what you do. Because um, I remember you 
when we had a conversation, you were talking about you've done print modeling as well. Yeah, I did, like, um, for a mile before, like, around prom time. Mm-hmm. They always called me to do it, to, um, to like, model in their dresses, mm-hmm. to get more sales and stuff like that. So mm-hmm. I did that. Basically, I'm just really trying to get into it. Mm-hmm. So how yeah. do you like it this far, you know, as far as what you've been doing? I like it. I think mm-hmm. I think after that day, this went. I always wanted to do it. Mm-hmm. But after that day, I was just like, okay. So, like, you know, just with modeling, though, you know, because some people look at it and they like to, you know, judge people and, you know, just try to find every flaw that they can mm-hmm. or whatever. But you're putting yourself out there, you know, to be judged by, you yeah. know, individuals. You know, what what gave you the courage to actually do that, though? It actually, like, changing now. Mm-hmm. It's not, because normally you see different types now. Mm-hmm. Now, so like the culture, like everything is changing. Mm-hmm. So either way, it is people. Some people gonna like it, and some people not gonna like it. Mm-hmm. You just gotta do it for the people who like it. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. So, what, what do y'all have musically planned? Then you know, as far as are y'all, um, are y'all both gonna drop an independent album? Or, you know, doing yeah, EP. Doing EP right now. A, like yeah. collaborative EP. Yeah. Or, oh, okay. So yeah. y'all, y'all doing like album, a little. It's almost up through the. We, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, what, what's the feel of it? Like, you know, are you able to put it in certain musical parameters? Is it going to be more like, you know, trap style or, you know, old school hip hop feel or blend a combination of the two? Or, I mean, it's more trap, but, like, it's like, like, we, you know what I'm saying? Like, anything I do, like, most of it is going to be trap, but if mm-hmm. I, like, if it's like R&B, it still have a trap feel to it. So, mm-hmm. you know, like, it's it's different, but it's still trap at the end of the day, but it just had different feels to it. Mm-hmm. Like, so it don't, it, it's not going to sound the same. Like, it's, yeah. it's a real, it's going to be a real dope project. It's going to come yeah. out this year, or? Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's really, it's almost finished. Okay. So, and I don't only just do, like, rap. Mm-hmm. I sing. Okay. I like pop feel, mm-hmm. so I like stuff like that. So it's gonna be a yeah, di- really, little different. Yeah, really don't do it. Yeah, do it all. Like really try to do it all. Have some doing one, doing one genre. Really mm-hmm. try to do it all. You know, just so. a whole fusion of a lot of different stuff. Yeah, yeah. Which, which I think that's how music gets pushed to. You know, it's uh, pushed the envelope of it anyway. Mm. And I'm like, I remember uh, seeing the Big Boy interview, and when they were working on one of the albums. Uh, he was telling, he was saying to the interviewer that he was listening to like Madonna and stuff like that. He wasn't even listening to like rap music while he's making a rap album. Yeah, yeah. he's listening to like Madonna. Other and people, all these, yeah. yeah, all these that, other different. That's how you get different vibes. You know, what yeah. I'm saying? yeah, different. That's how you attract stuff, different people. You can people. relate, like, and kind of put it into your music. But uh-huh. you know, what I'm saying, don't take what somebody else do. Just yeah, try to, you know, what I'm saying, make it your own. own. You know, mm-hmm. but still get credit with credit, dude. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, so, what do y'all enjoy right now as far as, you know, just the whole musical journey? Do you like the writing best, recording, just, you know, executing concepts? Do you, you know, have you had an opportunity to perform uh, your music yet in front of the public? Or? I haven't um, got on that yet, but it's coming soon. I just yeah. really, really making sure, like, I got everything with myself uh-huh. good. Like, I'm making sure everything is great before I start performing in front of you know, I just want to make sure I'm good okay. on my end. So I, yeah, I, I haven't, haven't did that. Right. I haven't even performed either. Uh-huh. Basically, I just want to finish up the songs first. Mm-hmm. Make them, sure everything right, right yeah. before I let people hear it. Okay. So, so, like, when y'all do this and go through this process, uh, do you think it's going to be you know, well-received? Or, you know, what are your expectations for this particular EP? Me? Mine's on, um, it's like, in and out. Mm-hmm. See, I see, I second guess myself a lot. See, wow. when I listen to it, uh-huh. when I listen to it, I'll be like, oh, yeah, that's on fire. They gonna like that. Mm-hmm. But then I'll be like, mm, no. So because I listen to or? yeah, Yeah, but that kind of, kind of thing, because like, I watch a lot of YouTube stuff, and I see a lot of positive stuff, but mm-hmm. then I look at a light, you probably got about it. 38 that dislike mm-hmm. 300 like and I'm like like how can you dislike this well, so I'm it's, like it's subjective so, so I'm like know. with me uh-huh. it's probably be the same thing yeah you know so I second guess myself a lot try to make it right yeah. perfect 
try not to uh, second guess a lot because you know mm-hmm. what I might not like, mm-hmm. you might like, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. So, like, it's just a, a 50 yeah, 50, like, you never know. Like, it might be a win, it might be a lose. And well, then, if it's a lose, don't don't start, don't let that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I always take yeah. away and, and run with it. And like, a, like a certain parties, like, they might have artists that come up and perform. Uh huh. Crowd do not be into it at mm-hmm. all. They want to hear something from somebody else mm-hmm. that they already know mm-hmm. from some other place, mm-hmm. and then the crowd just don't be into it. And that's how I'd be like, "What if that was me up there?" Well, okay. So that's I, how I think. Yeah, but I think you know you're putting like you're putting pressure on yourself. Yeah, I because do that a lot. You, and you shouldn't do that one because it's it's all about brand and mm-hmm. familiarity. So. If you haven't been able to put yourself out there consistently, nobody's going to really know. I'm like, when y'all start performing, ain't nobody going to be rocking, really. Ain't nobody mm-hmm. going to be out there vibing, whatever. You know, you, it, it could be 100 people in the room, and one of them might walk up to you and be like, man, I thought that it was dope and really connect yeah. with you or whatever. Just take that positive, you yeah. know, take that energy with you and just, you know, use that as a catalyst to keep going or whatever. Don't worry about it. You know, ten people wouldn't rock it to you, or you know, whatever mm-hmm. the case may be, because it's all about brand and familiarity. Mm-hmm. Familiarity, and if you don't have that budget to really keep pushing stuff, pushing stuff, pushing stuff, and advertising, and you know, being in front of people's faces, they're just not gonna know, and they're just not gonna connect. It's That's just another thing the way too, it goes. Like, even if they don't like you, they. Say they don't like you. They gonna mm-hmm. talk about you. I'm like, oh, y'all heard that rapper, bro? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like they're good though. Like even though they don't they like you, they tell you like, oh, what they name was? You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Like. So I, I really be I really be with everything. I don't care. I make my music for me. So mm-hmm. yeah. if you don't listen to it, I know I'm gonna listen to it. Mm-hmm. So I, I go hard for myself. You know. Yeah, and then you'll eventually find people like yourself. You yeah, know? it's a big world. Out yeah, there. it's hard to find that. It's, it's seven. <laughs> well, you know, it's it's seven billion people in this world, right? Yeah. And just when you look at it from a numerical standpoint. I'm like, okay, yeah, but nobody is making likes you. So what? You still got all these other cities around here. You got the right. internet, and you know that's where a lot of people pop off internationally. Like I, I have songs that have been played in Brazil on the radio, mm-hmm. where you know they were just killing the song, they were just loving it, and they sending me checks and stuff. And I've had stuff in Japan and uh, Spain and Russia or whatever that I thought these particular songs would connect with people here, you know, in Macon or, you know, United States or whatever the case may be. So, you know, you never know uh, where it's going to... You just got to make sure, you know, you put it out there Mm -hmm. and be comfortable in doing that. It's not going to be perfect your first time out. It's really not. You're going to, like, you'll... Three years from now, you'll go back and listen to it like, oh, man, that's That's how I be. My first song, I went back and listened to it, and I was Uh like... I don't even but like it's this no more. yeah, but it's it's building the experience. <laughs> yeah. uh, you're building your craft right now, right? So you know yeah. you're getting into it, and you'll get to that point to where you're comfortable and familiar with your sound and how you want people to perceive you and hear you. Mm-hmm. And you know, and then you know you'll make those that those albums that all sound or those songs that all sound not to sound the same, but it's your sound. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. something that you're comfortable with. So like somebody with. hear you, they know exactly yeah. what it is. Like, and uh, then you're also comfortable with it too when it, you know it's being played back. But you know, don't don't put all that pressure on yourself right now. You, you don't have to go gold or platinum or nothing like that right now. I'm like, just enjoy what you're doing. You yeah. know, build up the catalog and keep going. Cause I, I want to see y'all, you know, out there. I want to see you know billboards and stuff one day. I'm like, oh yeah, I remember when they were such and such. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's uh that's definitely you know my inspiration behind a lot of independent artists. I want to see them just go. Um, how how do y'all feel that social media? you know, plays a role in helping build an artist's career. Do y'all feel it's very valuable nowadays or, you know, it's, you know, a tool? Do you do you see it as a tool or do you see it as the only thing that you really need? No, that's not the only thing you need, but it helps. It helps yeah, a lot. It helps a lot, yeah. It, it, man, them folk, I be saying some crazy junk. Like, folks, they be blowing up all crazy stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, and I just really got into Instagram mm-hmm. and, like, when I started putting up clips of my music and stuff, mm-hmm. people started following me from different mm-hmm. places in different cities that was that do music and all that mm-hmm. stuff. And I'm like, how did they find me? How did they even see the video? Do you do hashtags and stuff or no? I use those a lot. Like, like, yeah, uh, hashtags. Hashtag. Now hashtags, no. like the right ones. Oh, you'll catch a lot yeah. of different followers. Yeah. Uh huh. Like certain hashtags and stuff. So, like when I be doing stuff and I hashtag like this and that, this and that, or whatever. 
I'll have like, you know, all the little friends that like a web, be like, you know, 10, 12, 15 friends, and then like 30 people that don't even follow you yeah. because yeah. of the hashtags. And people actually search hashtags and it based off of what you're doing and what they're doing. Because you never know, somebody might be doing something similar to what you're doing, mm-hmm. take interest in what you're doing, and, you know, mm-hmm. want to see it and be a part of the growth and the movement. Mm-hmm. But yeah, and, you know, people like visual content too. You know, that's what Instagram that's is there good, for, that yeah. short, concise. You know, video, or whatever, mm-hmm. uh, it's not going to take too much of my time, but I still want to see what's going on mm-hmm. type of situation. Yeah, no hashtags, they they definitely work a lot. Like, I got a, uh, it's a cartoon show called Rick and Morty. Mm-hmm. I, had, I uh, got a jacket, mm-hmm. and it got, like, them on it. So, like, I had hashtag, like, Rick and Morty, and, like, a whole bunch of folks, like, mm-hmm. who, like, like, I guess, like, the TV show, like, and they started just liking it. Like, mm-hmm. I just see a whole bunch of Rick and Morty fans, like, it was crazy. So have people started interacting with y'all on uh, social media, you know, like you know, sending inboxes, whatever you know the case may be, yeah. whether they can get music or yeah. features or you know, you know, beats and production. How, yeah, how has that been for you? A lot of people ask him mm-hmm. for for my stuff. <laughs> what if you're not on there? Like you know, you social media, they don't ask him. They <laughs> ask him. Hey, ask him, can I get a feature? I'd be like. I'm on Instagram too. <laughs> I, I don't. I don't know. I get. I did. I. I, I be. I, he be I on be there active. more than me. I be active. Yeah. So. <laughs> I'm not too big on social media, but mm-hmm. talking to his uncle and stuff mm-hmm. that that helps. So, so uh, I'm so trying to get into it. What is it your thing with social media? No, I you, just like look. Mm-hmm. Like I go like three days not posting nothing on Snapchat, mm-hmm. and and what he was saying was like. You gotta be consistent. Mm-hmm. Draw these people attention. Mm-hmm. Just let them know what you're doing and let them see what you're doing. Mm-hmm. So I just gotta really get into it. Yeah, you, you definitely have to document. And this yeah. is the day and age that we live in now. You know, um, now you would be a great artist to fit back in the 90s prior to, you know, yeah. social media and stuff being as big as it is now um, because there was still like this mystique mm-hmm. about artists and not being able to see that transparency with them. But since, you know, social media with all these different platforms, all these different, you know, social accounts and stuff, people love transparency now. Mm -hmm. So if you're not out there, you know, on social media, then people Mm -hmm. think you're not doing anything. Yeah. And and that's the perception that you don't want, because if they think you're not doing anything, they're not going to support. Yeah. So that's what I that's what I had learned. So I'm trying to get more into it, Mm -hmm. get more ads and consistent, Mm -hmm. keep giving people visuals because that's. What they want to see. Yeah. yeah. Gotta so. stay gotta stay consistent. Yeah. Cause if you don't folk really gonna forget about you. Like yeah. And then mm-hmm. like say if you drop some then a lot of folk you might lose all the people that you did have. Mm-hmm. Now you gotta start back over. Yeah. Like that's, And that's the hard process to do yeah. too. Yeah, you gotta, you once gotta you build up consistent. that momentum, mm-hmm. it's easier to keep momentum going than it is to recreate it. You know, so yeah. definitely uh, yeah, I gotta get on that. Um what what experiences have y'all had from the business side of music thus far? And if, you know, have they been, you know, pleasant or have they been, you know, a little murky or, you know? See, uh, me with just being in Atlanta, like, I don't I don't came across a lot of a lot of folks, like, who really got a lot of stuff going on, who know people. Mm-hmm. So, like, I feel like, see, like, in Atlanta, like, they help, like, these folks mm-hmm. really help. Like, I met, it's the dude I know, his name is Lord. Shout out to my boy, Lord. Mm-hmm. I met him, like, I met him in one week, mm-hmm. like within that week, like mm-hmm. I met him on the, I met him like on a Monday. Mm-hmm. He came back to come get me like Friday mm-hmm. within the same week. Bro took me out to eat, like I ain't have to pay for that. Mm-hmm. Go to his house, he got mm-hmm. a studio, mm-hmm. spend the night. Mm-hmm. Like he had me, like when I spend the night, he'll take me to school the next day. Like mm-hmm. it's there with love, like since day one, like how can I meet this person? Like. For, mm-hmm. Know him for a week and he come get me, take me out to eat. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just show me love. Like, it was that. I respect stuff like that. Like, that make you want to grind extra hard. Like, just mm-hmm. put somebody doing something like that. Yeah. How, how has your experiences been? Not too much. You, you haven't had that many? No. Okay. Because you're not putting yourself out there. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's, that's the problem. Yeah, yeah get on. So you done with school now, right? Yeah. Okay, so you have no excuse now. No, I don't have. You no got. Excuse. You have more now time. Now I'm just trying to 
to push more it. harder. Yeah, exactly. I got more time to do it now. Yeah, so, so you know, you it's know, huge, by the so. end of the summer, like yeah. you know, I, w- I want to see you like you popping mm-hmm. out because I, I really do think you know you could pop off, uh, especially like listening to your, uh, your your song and you know just seeing the video and stuff like that. I really do think you know you can pop off and you can offer, especially from a female's perspective. Mm-hmm. And a female rapper doing her thing who also likes to put out lyrics and mm-hmm. be consistent with that and have appreciation for wordplay and lyrics and things mm-hmm. of the nature as opposed to just being the stereotypical, you know, female rappers. But then also, uh, I have a question for you. How do you how do you like when people, you know, say things like, you know, well, she's a good female rapper or, you know, instead of just saying rapper? Like, how does that make you feel? Well, it, it makes me feel a little good. Mm-hmm. But then it may, makes me like gotta step up, mm-hmm. gotta be step up, cause I don't want to be just a rapper, mm-hmm. cause I cause that's not the only thing that I do. Mm-hmm. So I want them to know she not the only good female rapper. She mm-hmm. a good artist at what okay. she do. So I just that just make give me motivation. Okay. Yeah. So are there any artists that y'all would like to collaborate here in the area? You know, not just Macon, but like Middle Georgia or whatever the case may be that, you know, you haven't been able to reach or, you know, due to whatever the circumstances are. You know, are y'all listening to anybody here? I got a um, friend named Monte. He go by Monte Fool. He, uh, he from Macon, but he okay. moved to the A and like, uh-huh. he moved up there like, mm-hmm. <laughs> bro, see, look, oh, he got a little support thing. He go again, like, Make it like they don't want to support you, but mm-hmm. I right, bet to the story. But yeah, he from making he moved to the A and like when he moved to the A, like bro, just got known, like bro, be with all types of rappers now. Like, but me mm-hmm. and him, I'm been reaching out with him. We, we most definitely finna do some music though. Shout out my boy, Monte. Oh, I got another friend named Marcellus. Mm-hmm. He, he real dope. Yeah, I got a few more friends though. You know, I ain't finna sit here and just mm-hmm. call the road, but yeah, yeah we, you know. Do y'all like hear any like names around here? Where you know people were from the city that are still here within the city, or either just the Middle Georgia area. Yeah, rap. yeah that yeah. you know you can, you hear of them. Uh, like, I got a dude named Young Guap. Mm-hmm. I hear about him a lot. Uh, Young Elbo. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, dude named Gabo. Mm-hmm. They like around our age, but they they kind of buzzing right now. They buzzing. I hear uh, a lot of people say Pap. Mm-hmm. Uh, from Minnesville. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, she, yeah, she got like a going. good yeah. people behind her. Okay. So I like that. Yeah, she got me approached by two head kind of behind her. Ain't yeah. Kind of, I mean, wait, yo, like, Miss nah, Bill? Millibill, Millibill. Yeah, my bad, yeah, my bad, yeah. Millibill behind her. Like, she got her city behind her. Yeah. Yeah, I and like her support making, system. We, we ain't got, don't nobody want to help each other. Like, I don't know why, I don't know what it is. They rather. Well, you know, th- that's what I'm here for, to help change right. that demeanor. Same you know? here, same here. Um, cause, like I said, th- you know, there's people out there like, y'all probably, you know, you don't hear about a lot of the rappers that I uh, mess with or whatever just because they're older or whatever and mm-hmm. they're probably not, you know, your um, style or taste or whatever the case may be. Or you mm-hmm. just haven't, you know, been, yeah. Them, yeah. Yeah, been introduced to them. Uh, but they definitely uh, support, so I'll definitely, you know, shoot people y'all way. If y'all open to collab with, you know, yeah, whomever. I'm, I'm willing to collab you know, with I got a lot of different people I can, do. you know, send you away. I got uh-huh. a uh, white homeboy named Jesse. Mm-hmm. He um, played a guitar. He got a little band, or uh, he got a band. And he, he hit me up, like, he wanted to do, like, some different job. Like, mm-hmm. not like how it sounded. Like, he, like, wanted to do, like, like some rock with some rap, you know, mm-hmm. like mix it up together like and see mm-hmm. see what we can come up with. So yeah. I, I like it's a great idea, it's different, you know. And yeah, he got exactly. a nice little fan base with him too. Yeah. Like he be performing at the Grand Opera House and stuff like that. So Okay. Yeah. yeah, so definitely I think, you know, y'all y'all keep up and keep at it and you know, you're gonna do stuff and like I said, I'm here to be in your corner, you know, as a support and to, you know, guidance, whatever, you know, information, um putting you out there into my network of people and, you know, seeing what happens, you know. Yeah. I'm definitely here to help to show the love and to show that you, right. that you know, you can't have a support system yeah, here right, right. in the city or whatever. Um, and to, you know, let's get rid of that, you know, negative uh, stereotype that a lot of people uh, might feel that it's here in the city. Um, but for anybody who wants to, like, you know, check y'all out and, you know, listen to music or, you know, just seeing what you've been able to do thus far, you know, Shout out your social media and how they can get at you, or if they want to, you know, link up to features or whatever the case may be. Um, well, you can. Um, I'm on Facebook at Precious Marie, P R E C I O U S M A R I E. 
Mm-hmm. Um, you can on Instagram, official underscore Marie, all lower caps. And you just DM me, inbox. That's just the way you can get a contact with me. Okay. Uh, get me on my Facebook. It's William Atside, W-I-L-L-I-A-M-A-D-S-I-D-E. Uh, my Instagram, loud underscore pat underscore will. And my Snapchat is loud pat crazy. Oh, I've got my Snapchat. It's atm.precious. That's atm.precious, our lowercase. Okay. Um, I like to give my guests the last words, uh, you know, whatever it be, a mantra, a saying, you know, any words of advice uh, for people who, you know, are going to see this and the ones who are tuning in now. Um, any last words to give the people? Yeah, man, I want to give a big shout out to Bank Doc Radio Station. You did. <laughs> <laughs> last words, precious. No, just follow me. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I follow me too, but but big shout out to back. Out the show. All right, appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then you have it. That is uh, Will G and Precious. Y'all definitely go and support them. Follow them on the social media sites. Google them, and when they drop this EP, you know later on this year, definitely support. And show them that, you know, the city can't get behind artists right. so they, therefore, can be pushed into other uh, directions. Uh, y'all tune in. Well, I guess, shoot, the next time we'll broadcast is uh, sometime in the later part of the uh, month. I'm going on vacation for a little while. If anybody, uh, y'all can do so. Y'all can follow on Instagram, banked out underscore radio underscore show. And you can go and uh, become one of the 11,000 plus members on the page, banked out radio show. Uh, appreciate everybody tuning in, and we are signing out. CTV.